morning and thank you very, very much for joining us. My name is Yori Folaring. Well, um, we've been talking about budget padding, you know, all these days. Uh, now, yesterday, the presidency, one of its spokesmen, Senator uh, Ita Enang, has said that, look, speaking as an official, uh, he's just here to advise the National Assembly on invitation that uh, they don't understand what a padded budget is. We are not, there is no padding in the Appropriation Act that is currently in use. Um, some are interpreting this as the presidency swings and uh, behind uh, Dogara, but as much wasn't said. What was said was that there was no padding. Now, is there still anything to, to, to investigate in the budget? Well, that's an ongoing conversation because um, immediately there are legislators that are, you know, said that they were dissatisfied with that statement. Uh, you recall that the party, uh, the APC, the ruling party, tried to wade into the matter and was unsuccessful. And now, the, this, this statement, let's not use any other adje adjective beyond this statement that there is no padding. Okay, got a journalist, economic journalist, uh, Majid Jamil with us. He also keeps a very keen eye on the policy. He knows his way in and around the political circles as well. Thank you very much for coming on, Majid. Good morning, Yori, and good morning, Nigerians. Indeed. Um, well, so, uh, Majid, we were talking about this before coming on air, and um, there is no padding. Has the presidency taken the wind out of the sail of the whole budget, uh, budget padding allegation, do you think? I, I want to assure you that by probably before the close of work today or by tomorrow, mm -hmm. there will be another statement. A supplementary statement. From, <laughs> from, from the presidency saying that what they, are, what they actually mean is that um, the budget, the appropriation uh, bill that was signed into law mm -hmm. by the president was not padded. Was not padded. And that, I mean, of course. Um, if you recall, in, in February, the National Assembly actually were the first to raise an eyebrow about a padded budget, or that the, the budget went missing. Now, um, the executive wrote, apologized, and withdrew that uh, bill. That, I mean, there were some errors. Then you recall this, um, Lagos Calabar and the Lagos Kano rail uh, project. They said the Lagos Kano, I mean, the Lagos Calabar uh, rail project was missing. And um, I mean, they took a video recording of uh, the presentation by the Minister for uh, Transport, uh, Chibuke Ameshi, to actually establish that that uh, a portion of the budget was actually presented mm -hmm. uh, to the uh, National Assembly. So there has been <coughs> um, back and forth on this uh, pardon issue. Uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, after meeting with uh, the President at the weekend, said he doesn't understand what padding is. Now, Itainang is re echoing that, uh, which means um, there is a, a sort of synergy. I won't say the, the President is giving a Philip or gi giving a backing to uh, the leadership of the Senate, as I mean, and uh, they, are, they are practically telling uh, Gibran that he's on his own. But if you also recall, um, the EFCC and the police authorities I mean, issued a statement yesterday that they are currently working on three uh, budgets. Three versions. That they are of invest the investigating yes. three versions of the budget. So, yes. which one that, are that, they? That, that was even as of Monday. And interestingly, the EFCC uh, was hard at work yesterday. We are reading that Jibrin was uh, with the commission for yes. four or five hours. About four or five hours, yeah. You know, and. Um, that he submitted, having submitted voluminous, uh, <laughs> a voluminous document, document. Uh, he, he brought some more yesterday. Yeah. Now, even as the presidency's spokes, uh, what spokesperson was saying, there is no padding, there is the appropriation act that we are operating as a country now it is not padded. Dogara was still, I beg your pardon, uh, uh, Gibrin uh, was still a guest of the EFCC yesterday, and um, they will be also inviting the uh, speaker as we hear. Uh, so it, it's interesting, the, the, it, it would look like the appropriation, uh, the committee now appropriation secretariat is still under lock and key yeah. about 10 days after that yes. the EFCC had done. 
So all of that is going on, and now this statement, it, we can't exactly call it a presidential statement, but it did emanate from the presidency to the extent that Senator it, uh, Itainan is uh, a liaison officer, a senior special yeah. assistant to the president on the uh, National Assembly That's for the Senate. Sense, yeah. So he, 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 he knows the mind of the presidency. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I, I know the, 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 the president and, we have. And yet, sorry, sir. And yet, the reputation that the president has is that he's not one to be part of sweeping anything under the carpet. Yeah, the president gave that hint about two weeks ago um, uh, in, a state, in one of those statements. I mean, he personally issued that even if members of the party, of, of uh, the APC, were found uh, wanting, in terms of corruption, the person will be brought to okay. book. Okay. I mean, he actually said that. Mm -hmm. And now, um, it's, it's, it's a bit um, funny, uh, the, the statement coming from, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> Itainan. But like I said, what I want to believe he intends to tell Nigerians is the fact that, I mean, the opposition bill we have now, which we call the budget, I mean, most people know it as the budget, but then it's actually the opposition uh, bill mm. uh, for 2016, which has been uh, ap uh, appended to by the president, mm -hmm. which has become law. Mm -hmm. It's actually a, a law now. I mean, that it is a document that you can hold and that, that you can go to the bank with. That's right. That that particular one is not the padded one they are talking about. So, but then... The question we, we should ask now is, why was Gibrin sacked by the uh, management of the National Assembly? Mm -hmm. Or rather, purportedly, is they said he, he resigned. So what happened to the appropriation uh, committee chairman, or rather the former chairman of the, and why has he been singing like a canary? And he has been insisting, even despite, I mean, even after the uh, party uh, broke out the truce and uh, told the, the warring parties to shed their, their sword and um, uh, maintain um, a, a sort of a silence. But when the Dogara uh, fired that, that salvo, that I mean, of course, that uh, pardon is not, uh, uh, there is no crime in pardon. Yeah. And yeah. that um, it's not, the position is not threatened. I think uh, it, it was like a wake up call to Gibran that um, it's like uh, this guy is not um, uh, honoring that uh, the truce. So he also uh, started firing again. So, but we Nigerians are waiting and we are watching how this whole tale will end. Because if the presidency is saying that the document they have is not padded, then it means they are saying that uh, 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 what Gibran is saying is um, uh, nonsense, that is just uh, raising um, uh, a hell of a noise. Which, uh, which has been the position of the speaker uh, and the, the speaker supporters and of the speaker. That is it. Of but it. the transparency group, group so-called, are, are not having any of it. They're insisting that, that we must put a torchlight on this yeah. and, and really scrutinize it. Uh, because there have been statements that it's not as if it is even new. So there was a time we were hailing the whole uh, let us call it a fiasco. Uh, there, was, uh, there was a time we were hailing it as, aha, uh, at least an opportunity to now uh, x-ray things like this that have been going on, maybe in some cases for almost decades. But the whole controversy is about the so-called constituency projects, right? That's, 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 that's the genesis of all of this. Whether constituency projects are legal, where, where the arrangements that we have where they're now in there, whether there were informal agreements as to what could be done, uh, if, the, if you know, there must, there's no smoke without fire. How w that we now have a fiasco like this on our hands, the integrity, somebody pointed out yesterday that um, the uh, third, fourth, fifth, person, you know, uh, most senior person in Nigeria, they're all facing uh, corruption questions, uh, that he wasn't doing us any good at all. How, how does the constituency uh, thing fit into this, Majid? <coughs> I've um, had cost, I'm not a lawyer, but I've had cost to study the constitution very well um, in the course of my uh, tour of duty as a journalist. And nowhere in the constitution would you find anything like constituency project. It's a coinage of the National Assembly. I mean, and they say it's part of their uh, in-house order. I mean, to, uh, no, the, 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 the constitution allows them to have 
constituency offices. Mm. I mean, for them to take briefs and to debrief their, their constituents, which they represent, they are supposed to have one at the National Assembly and one in their constituency. But the cache or the phrase constituency project is not in the const constitution, but you have provision for constituency office. But then, how is the constituency office funded? I mean, I learned that um, because we have some, you know, some friends there, we have a lot of people that I mean, we, we talked to, and they said <coughs> they had to sit down and actually uh, f find a way around uh, uh, funding the constituency office. That's how they came about the constituency project. But then it has become a drain pipe. And uh, from the documents sub uh, submitted by uh, Gibrin, uh, which, I mean, uh, the, 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 the documents they put forward, you see a situation where uh, a member representing a certain constituency will write to the um, uh, uh, speaker requesting for approval mm -hmm. or seeking approval mm -hmm. for maybe 100 billion naira uh, worth of uh, boreholes for his constituency. And you ask, what is the uh, function of the uh, Ministry of uh, Water Resources or the Millennium uh, Deployment, uh, Development Goals Office, or rather now it's, uh, it, has, uh, it is now um, uh, Sustainable Development uh, Goals, or uh, even uh, Ministry of Works and Housing or Ministry of Agriculture and uh, Natural Resources. Those are the ministries saddled, or even Ministry of Health, saddled with the provision of uh, clean, um, uh, drinkable water. So, and all these projects, you see, the, 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 the quarrel here is, can the National Assembly create a budget head? The answer is no. It is the executive that can execute the, project, uh, uh, the budget. However, if a National Assembly member feels there's the need for a project in my constituency, then there, there's, there's what we call um, a ba ba bargaining. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the collective mm -hmm. bargaining. Yeah. You, yeah. You, you liaise and with... And lobbying. Uh, and, and lobbying, yeah. I think that's the key word. The same way the executive lobby to get the, pro the budget approved, mm -hmm. the, uh, constitu I mean the, the, the National Assembly members, in order to please, quote and unquote, their constituents, to show that, well, I am in the National Assembly representing you, I have been able to bring this project, I've used my influence, to lobby my colleagues or to, lab, uh, to lobby the executive to cite uh, this project, like uh, what uh, Arishay did in, um, when he was in the Senate. He was able to lobby the president to cite the federal university, a federal university in his um, uh, town of Oye. So that, that's, that, that, the, the federal uh, but, government but already approved. Appear, exactly. But it would appear that in, 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 our, in, in this particular example, yeah. uh, what seems to have emerged is that the process you've described whereupon it would have been above board up front yeah. and maybe even in our faces that was dispensed with yeah uh, and somehow they had an alternative understanding such that nobody even knew it was in there because if it had been lobbied everybody will see the workings you, it's not that, just the answer that, 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 you got to see the workings to the answer that, that is it that, that, that that's that's the problem that that's, that's the scenario i'm trying to paint here that in this case those projects were added to what uh, the executive uh, submitted, and that's why the, uh, the, the, the president refused assent in the first instance. I mean, the executive, uh, they have a, an idea of what the pulse of the federal government can carry, and they have budgeted uh, X, Y, Z amount of money. Now, you are adding, just for one, constitu uh, for one constituency, uh, 100 uh, million, and we have uh, 360 constituencies um, uh, in the country. So, and each of these members, I mean, were uh, to add or to uh, generate one project or the other. So the, the quarrel or, the, or rather the argument now is, can the National Assembly create a budget aid? The answer is no, because mm, where would no, the allocation no. go to? But it they is, can amend. They can amend, yeah, mm. they can appropriate. They can say, fine, uh, this project is what X, Y, Z, um, a million naira. No, it should be X or it should be Y. But, or rather, this project is of uh, necessity. We can do it this year. Or rather, this project, we can still tarry a while. 
and push it uh, to, the, to next year's budget, or this one is of uh, priority, we can do it in the first quarter, we can do it in the second quarter. I mean, they can do all those ones. And they can but be lobbying. Is, uh, they yeah, can be they lobbying. Can actually, if the presidency feels very, very strongly about something, yeah. uh, it probably, the way they could lobby the presidency, I imagine the public presidency's food soldiers could also lobby them as, look, see if we, what we can do to not touching the proposal the way it is because we need it and sort of yeah. pre-explain it. I imagine that's allowed. And, 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 that's, and that's why they also have, yeah, that's, a, that's allowed. That, and that's why they also have oversight functions to ensure that these projects that, has been, that have been executed by the executive is also called to question by the National Assembly to ensure that they don't just award these uh, uh, projects to contractors and they go to sleep. Mm. I mean, that's why the fact that, I mean, the, the executive has its own um, uh, evaluation, evaluation process, which is, I mean, a, a, a very uh, a good one uh, to that. But then, um, the National Assembly too, they have their oversight functions to also look into what is, uh, but where they need to actually work together is to understand the fact that you cannot write as a member, as a as a as a member of the assembly. You can't write to the speaker or write to the uh, senate president that you want this project. In, I mean, after the budget had been fully prepared. Mm. No, I think mm, it's mm, wrong. Mm, mm, mm. So exactly. That, that's where the problem is now. And so, uh, that's so why. That's, that's what you meant by uh, uh, budget headings. A, yeah, budget head. You know, uh, yes. you, you you the heads will come. The headings will come from the from, presidency. That is it. And if you start adding your own, effectively, you're beginning to prepare. Uh, this is going beyond uh, uh, amendment. That, that is it. You know, it's, that, it's, that's it's not the intended that, you, uh, that, that's not appropriation. interpretation. That is not appropriation. Yes. That is creating another budget, a budget outside of a, of a, of a budget. So and so when the presidency say, states through its uh, spokesperson that the Appropriation Act as passed by the uh, National Assembly is not padded. And yet we have the, con the confusion of three versions before the EFCC, for example, or before the police. Are they? Yeah, well, uh, the AIG, you know, in Yes, uh, that is, it's, it's three versions. What used to happen uh, during the Obasanjo years uh, is that whatever they want, they, they, they will add to the budget. They, the, the president then of uh, Obasanjo will append to it, but he will refuse to release money. And uh, <laughs> PM, the PMB says, no, I will only append what I'm sure I'm going to release money to. That's why the thing was, result, uh, was returned. You see, there are so many, there are so many um, us trading uh, in the process of getting the, project, uh, the, the budget um, uh, approved. Mm. Uh, and at, uh, at the end of the day, I think they it came to a middle uh, of the road approach. But the bubble burst when gibbering, I mean, uh, 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 for the appropriation committee, it's, it's such a special committee that you have a member from each state representing, I mean, uh, 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 representing each state. Mm -hmm. in the, so mm -hmm. we have 37 members mm -hmm. in the appro appropriation uh, committee. So there is a member from each state in that uh, uh, committee. So and what they do is, the 36 out of the 37 called for his removal because they said he actually usurped their powers. It, it took away the budget. He handled it single um, uh, single handedly. That is and, uh, uh, the gibbering. Uh, gibbering. and that he, he used this position to move some projects to his own constituency in Kano. Mm. What about 4.3 billion? Mm. While other, uh, cons uh, other cons in some other constituencies, there's just a mere, maybe uh, there's 50 uh, million naira worth of a project that is there. But then he also accused uh, Dogara, the speaker, of diverting an irrigation uh, project meant for his state into his personal farm. The speaker has not responded to that. L let's hear it from uh, Mr. Ayuba calling in from Abuja. Good morning, Mr. Ayuba. Hey, good morning, sir. Thank you for calling good morning. in. Yeah. Actually, I really want to contribute my counter in this very particular topic. Yeah, you see, the entire is wrong. I really want to know who is responsible for budgeting. Is it the executive that will sit down under the umbrella of his office, under the coolness, air condition, and budget what will happen in the constituency? Or is it the legislative that are very close to the people that are supposed to budget, that knows the needs of the people that are supposed to do the budget? 
You see, we should try, we should try and restructure everything. I think it is the duty of the constitutional meeting, the representatives that are supposed to sit down because they know the they know the problem of the masses. They are the ones that are supposed to sit down and constitute the budget, not the executive. There is a need for restructuring. Thank you. Have a quality day. Well, well, uh, okay, thank you very much, Mr. Ayuba. Um, uh, I, well, uh, I don't know how to quite react to that because, you see, the, 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 the buck stops on the president's table. It is the president's programs. Uh, but the president is not allowed to be, you know, a, a dictator in a democracy. That is why he will subject his proposals for review. But still, his projects, uh, still, that is the projects of his administration, of his government, and um, really, if I understood Mr. Ayuba properly, uh, I think he's questioning that, saying that uh, there might be a kind of restructuring that would enable uh, those he considers closer to the people to come up with the budget. That was the understanding I got from Mr. Yes, Ayuba. Yes, that's, that's what he's trying to say. But uh, the way budgeting in Nigeria has been structured and uh, with enabling laws, it's, it's the executive that, that, comes, up with the that comes up with the budget. And that is, is it's like a top-bottom approach. Um, what we should actually um, tend to look into is a situation where we have a bottom-up, where the, the um, communities, the that is it, we have inputs through the, the members of the National Assembly, but then... Okay. through Because I was going to say they probably do have inputs, yes. but you are saying the difference would be through, through the National Assembly. The, the, through the members of the National Assembly. I mean, of course, they, 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 that's why they are called representatives mm. they have uh, a constitu they have constituencies and the only way they can also do that is because the um, the national assembly is is not an executing arm they do not have the budgeters but then even that's why we have checks and balances the executive too cannot spend uh, any money without, without approval. appropriation oh, yeah. or approval yes. from the National Assembly. Yes. So we have those checks and yes. balances. And that is why we need this horse trading, this collaboration, to ensure that the executive gets inputs from the, the, the National Assembly who are actually close to the people, but not unilaterally mm -hmm. insisting that they create their own budget mm. ads and impose their constituency projects yes. on uh, the executive which, so, which has been going on which has been going on for, for a while and has, and has become a norm yes so they see it as part and puzzle mm -hmm. of the budgeting process okay uh mr samale from uh, ojodu good morning uh, good morning yori thank you for calling in yeah uh please i i don't have like what is talking <laughs> well the presidency through its spokesman has said that uh there is no padding of the budget that is in operation now <laughs> Yuri? Hello? Yeah, we're still together. That yeah, was a statement I'm dropped I'm by Senator the... uh, Ita Enang yesterday, speaking yeah, for the I presidency. Not... Look, I hope we are not sitting uh, on a keg of gunpowder. You think? I hope we are not sitting on a keg of gunpowder. Yeah, is that, is that what you think the statement is capable yeah, of uh, being likened to? What? How, how so? Yeah, why am I saying this? Yes. Why am I saying this? All along, we have been saying uh, the war against corruption has been made by the president, I'm sure, is one-sided. Members of the ruling party, Bongaga, are you hearing me, sir? Yeah, I can still hear you. Uh -huh. Then the major pupils met Mr. President last week and came and I told the who was not here at this time around that there is, he has not committed any sin, that there's nothing bad in pardon. Now, the presidency is covering him. We are watching. APC should better come out now and tell Nigeria where we are so called war in corruption. He is being waged. Okay, Mr. Samale. Thank you very much for calling in. Interesting and dramatic reaction um, from him. Yeah, it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's <laughs> a keg of gunpowder. gunpowder. Well, there, there is a sense in which uh, everybody was taken aback by, by the pronouncement from a presidential, a presidency spokesman. Uh, you see, the, 
the, the problem with most of us in Nigeria is the fact that we only read the headlines and we jump to our conclusions. Mm -hmm. Just the same way uh, the Minister of uh, Finance, uh, Kemi Adeoshun, said uh, that um, we, Nigeria will borrow to fund the 2016 budget. Mm -hmm. I mean, and now people started shouting, why must we borrow? We have enough. What they said, they have been recovering uh, yes. Uh, money. Yes, yes, so, yes, 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 so, yes. So, Like now, it's, it just made a, a passing statement as, pa I, mean in, uh, I mean, as in uh, uh, Tainang. He only said, it, it's, that it's like one line out of uh, several other paragraphs uh, on this uh, uh, padding issue. So it's not as if, it's, that's why I said we really need to read and digest what is said. We know, Majid, I <laughs> so, hear you. You, <laughs> you, you. You're a reporter yourself, although an organ reporter nevertheless, but a reporter nevertheless. And yeah. that's what editors do. They, 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 they find what of they course, think is the... the catchy, the, catchy, the, catchy headline. And, and also, hopefully, where it is done well, a headline that encapsulates the story. The story, yeah. And um, in this case, there's no denying that the statement came out of the presidency that the 2016 16. 16 Appropriation Act is uh, not padded. Yeah. We are not operating a padded budget. I think Udo Odoma said it at the, um, uh, at the meeting, uh, the town hall meeting, meeting that you referred to. Yesterday. And so uh, speaking of those one-liners, uh, Kemi Ade Oshu, Minister of uh, Finance, yeah. also said, you know, that we don't have an option, we don't have a choice but to borrow. Yeah, uh, otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to pay salaries. Yeah. So we've been borrowing to pay salaries. So let people just add that one to their pipe and be smoking it. It's an interesting uh, as a pronouncement because we'll come back to it, no, no doubt. Uh, remember when we were saying that we had to borrow and Nigerians were up in arms, as you were just alluding to, yeah. you just reminded me of that. So we, we have this situation on our hands, and uh, uh, Mr. Samali was saying that, wait a minute, what is this APC government telling us? Well, we, now we don't even know what to think, what to believe anymore. Uh, I, I think APC really need to put uh, its acts together so that... Um, Especially its communication act. There are yeah, the communication and also the body language. Um, the Dugara has been accused of um, pardoning the budget. Oh, I beg your pardon. Uh, 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 sorry, Majid. And let me also uh, apologize to Mr. Yakub, our uh, dear Mr. Yakub friend calling in from Dr. Emu. Sorry for keeping you all that while. Please go ahead now. Thank you very much, sir. Good morning, Chief Jory, and then good morning, Mr. Majid. Good morning, uh, sir. Chief Jory, let me begin by saying that the, when we started this uh, topic about padding or no padding, I made, I made mention of something. I said this is the first time for ruling party, APC as a, first, as a political party. Mm -hmm. This is a very rich tax time for them. If they fail to allow the uh, government agencies to, to work on this kind of uh, allegation, and then if they try to bust in and begin to try to stop the agencies in terms of investigation of this very particular pardon or no pardon, they were already free. Why am I saying this? If you, are, if you could remember, when the Dogara went to Rasero, immediately the man came out and then the press went in and asked him some certain questions. He said, I do not know anything about party in our constitution. And then look at what uh, Malako Goma do, uh, if, I, if I don't make mistake. Look at what he came out yesterday when he had discussed about this issue. See, Chief Jerry, the question now is this. The House of Representatives, they always make, make one statement which I don't know they are right. I don't think they are right. The statement needs to go like this. They will say they are the closest person to the Nigerian citizen. He very idea to disagree with them. Why am I saying that? If they say that they are their closest person to Nigerian citizen, what about the councillors? What about local government, uh, local government chairman? If you say that you are close to me, the local government chairman is closer to me than you as a representative. The councillor of my area is closer to me than you. If you say that because you want to invest uh, 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 something in your locality or whatever, we sent you. I've said this several times. You will come out and promise you that you want to give us work. You want to give us work. I will send you. Your primary responsibility as a lawmaker is to go there and make a good law that will help Nigeria economy and Nigerian generality. If you are promising us school, 
that you cannot be able to put money out of your pocket and do the school. Immediately they do the school, do you know that this uh, house of representatives, they will claim that I'm the one that did this school. The school is not from their pocket, and then they will be telling us that they are the one who did it. We, we it is a Nigerian citizen that pay our money that is working for us. They should stop all those. The Nigerian citizen should go in, and then Nigerian citizen should be behind uh, 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 Dublin because you are not to use our dialect. Only not on one, a put on one, let us do a bit on Jawa. Definitely, the person inside know what to say because this man is inside that. The budget has been funny. The president should take, they should stay away from it. That's All right, then, Yakub. Okay, okay. Thank you very, very much, Yakub. If it's about the nation, if it's about our polity, Yakub is going to be passionate about it. And um, <laughs> it, it happened yesterday and it's happened again today. Uh, but he, Yakub has extended it by thinking that the presidency, uh, in his understanding, is sort of uh, siding with or shielding uh, Dogara. But uh, Itai Nanga, I was reading, when I was reading the body of the story, as you say people should do, was saying that, look, Please don't complicate this whole thing by zeroing in on personalities. Can we just leave it as just one institution, his emissary talking to another institution, and it was because I was summoned. And on this whole contentious question about the 2016 budget having been padded, I can say to you categorically, um, it, we don't have a padded budget. In other words, it's all legit. If that is the case, it reminds me, I was listening to, I was reading Senator uh, Adeshe Ogunlewe also saying that, look, as far as I'm concerned, this, the Appropriation Act has been passed into law. All of this is a lot of water off a duck's back. Uh, but we, he, he seemed to think that we Nigerians like to engage ourselves. Now, the way this thing is going, it just might peter out into nothingness, uh, not all between one day and the next, but as we do our things here. After all, there was the story of... Um, some legislator stuffing dollars in his uh, tall cap. We've never, that whole story has gone away. Uh, so that is what is making people like Yakub and some other people who have been very, very uh, strident about the matter uh, since we started talking about this uh, topic, uh, to feel that let nobody pull that kind of, uh, uh, let, let, let nobody pull that stunt of saying there's nothing to investigate. We should investigate this. And perhaps encouragingly, EFCC is apparently is still full blast ahead. I think what the whole process will uh, do oh, is let, to... Let's quickly, let, let's quickly do Abia State. Okay. And uh, Comrade Mazi Okoroafo, he's waiting for us there. Good morning, uh, Mazi. Good morning, Mr. Young. Good morning, our guest in the studio, Mr. Oji. Morning, everybody. Good morning, you sir. See, uh, yes, Comrade Mazi, Patrick Okoroafo, for our school here in Abia State. <laughs> The word party in advanced learners is not a means for education of figures. Today, the presidency is saying nothing like party. Okay, that chapter should remain what closed so that Nigeria will be what further ahead. You have, if you, if you open pages of papers, listen to news and this and go to the television, you'll be hearing about increase in school fees by unity school schools, other issues like all this issue of uh, Nigerian universities. This is a cut off point and the rest. We should talk and forget about this issue of party or no party. Okay. Every day in Nigeria, we continue chasing symptoms of issues or ailments instead of chasing the causes. Now, Mr. Yuri, or our guest in the studio, let me ask you a question. You see, if you go to, there's no ministry in Nigeria, let's say for a certain, if they want to buy a car, they have to do what? If the car is $4 million, they, what are they going to do? The other will say that buy at least extra car, maybe a decent, and make, add my own. What is it? Is it not for education? Is that one not padded? So what is it? You go to university. The buy side for so to take money and go and build a structure for hostess and the for students. You will end up going to buy what? To start the road. A road of uh, maybe 3 million, you will write 10 million. Is that one not padded? So this issue of padded, you cannot stop it. There is no government in this country. If you are not bring a sense that is in the Holy Bible or anywhere and to come and rule Nigeria, they must be padded in Nigeria. Let us face let us face what is in front. The whole thing we are talking about, there are issues in this country which should be tackled. People are talking about uh, uh, poverty, people are talking about illiteracy, people are talking about this issue. Let us face all this thing. I'm forgetting about this. At the end of the day, this issue of padded, where do you bring the money? Where is the money going to? Who is going to eat the money? 
The money will just turn around again and go back to the square one, to people that are already arranged it. So we are just saying, everyone is clamoring, clamoring, clamoring. In short, Nigeria is our country. We have no other place to go. What do we do? We have to think ahead and sit down and say, Nigeria, move. If we want this, we want this. If we want this, we don't want that. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I have a present day. In Indeed. Thank you very much, Amazio Koroa, for. Um, okay. Now, that Itai Nang is speaking for the presidency in this way, with a very sharp, clear-cut statement, there is no padding to the budget. Um, how about, let's throw in another speculation and, you know, capitalize each letter, speculation. Um, can it be that the presidency also might be wary of having egg on its face that, oh, you, are you trying to say what Dogara is saying is that they put one by us and we didn't even know and here we are carrying on going on our merry way and now after the event uh, this gentleman uh, Jubrin is saying that we were taken uh, you know we, we can't have that um, we've got to wait for the right time and then we just drop it in there that we, we there's no such thing as padding the one we have is clean and that kind of a thing as I said, every letter capitalized speculation. So oh, oh. the kind of thing you might talk about in a pepper soup joint or, or tomboba. Uh, do, uh, what? Couldn't, isn't that conceivable? No, very conceivable. Uh, it's, 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 it's neither here nor there. Um, I see a clash of uh, personalities, a clash of interest. Uh, the appropriation, the chairman of the appropriation committee is perhaps as powerful as the speaker. And for for somebody who holds that position to be removed mm. won't go down without a fight ah, because probably that was one of the you could see how vesuferos um uh, Gibrin was at the during the election of um uh, dogara you would you would have thought that he was being motivated by the uh, by his conviction that dogara is going to be a very fantastic speaker rather he was being mo motivated i mean as it were now by the conviction that the, that juicy uh, portfolio of being the chairman of the appropriation committee is going to be his. And the moment it was removed, although like some people have said, why did Jibrin wait till he was removed? Before speaking. Design, before speaking. And he said he has been in the assembly <laughs> since um, five, he's been, uh, this is his fifth year in the assembly. And he said padding had been going on year in year out exactly and why wait till the fifth year to come and tell nigerians as a matter of fact he ought to have been sacked immediately they discovered that um, he actually he cornered the old budgeting uh, process and uh, I mean, he, he made it like i mean as if it's what his own document he, he took it away and he, he disallowed the other 36 members from having access to the document he only finished and brought it uh, for them but then, they, we also blame the National but, Assembly. But then they kept quiet about it. They also kept quiet. They kept quiet about it. That is so it. all of this is coming out so after the reshufflement. And that maybe, maybe we've got to go on a, on a short break now. Maybe when we come back, we're trying to understand this thing a bit better to the extent that we can. What, we, we look into why, why on earth was uh, Jibin removed? Um, and as one former legislator has said, how can Dogara expect that he will remove Jibrin and uh, some of it won't hit the fan, as That's they it. say? Stay with That's us, it. please. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, welcome back. So, wittingly or unwittingly, uh, the presidency appears to have waded into the whole matter of investigation into the allegation that the 2016 Appropriation Act, as it passed, was padded. Uh, presidential, no, presidency spokesperson, uh, Ita, Senator Ita Enang, uh, for the Senate, but, you know, that's his job. He, he was speaking and said that speaking to the National Assembly because he had been invited to help clarify this whole matter, said that as far as we are concerned in the presidency, there is no padding. It would appear that with this, because there are those who are going to read it as the presidency throwing its weight behind the Jubrin 
I mean, sorry, between Dogara. behind uh, Dogara and his protestations of innocence. Um, of course, there are others in the National Assembly who are saying that I'm sure he was misquoted. He couldn't have said that because we are in this house together and we know what goes on. And if one person has spoken, in fact, I think, was it a TF, was it a transparency group who was careful, a spokesman, a spokesperson who was careful to say that we're not supporting, it's not as if we're backing Dogar, uh, uh, Jibrin. Uh, what we're doing is, Jibrin is only pursuing an issue that we ourselves have always had. That and uh, we haven't had as much traction as this. But now that we, the, the traction is there, we need to support it because they think that they're doing all they can to sanitize this democracy. And indeed, you know, go by the president's uh, script, in this, this administration's script of zero tolerance for in any form of corruption. corruption. No, 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 uh, anybody's ox will be God. No, uh, no sacred cow. All that kind of thing. The president has said, you remembered, um, you know, it's not business as usual and on and on and on. Well, with all of those things, this budget has been padded. Now the presidency says, not so. They want to tell me about someone else. Uh, uh, well, Benga is calling in from Abuja. Good morning, Benga. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you for calling Good morning. in, sir. Yes, you see, the issue of padding, the presidency has let us know that they don't, know, they, they don't have the word pad, padding, and they don't know what it means. As far as they are concerned, there's nothing like padding. But let me tell you, this has been going on for a long time. In the previous legislation, We've seen that this uh, project, the community project, were not executed. This morning, we will surely share from the Ministry of Finance to other logis uh, other uh, uh, MPA. And the person who has this part, uh, project in the security collect the money without an execution. And that's the reason why you see our governor always rushing to be, be, to be a senator. <laughs> immediately, they complete their four years or eight years tenure because there's something happening there. But I'm going to let you know that whatever makes it possible for Jubilee to be removed, Dogar and others are culpable also because Jubilee cannot single handedly be, there's no way he could have done that, what, what he had done single handedly. There are some other people that supported him. He got the nod of the, of, of the leaders in the house to do it. He is now saying that if, I'm, if, if you say we have done wrong, you also have done wrong. And that is logical. And that's why it's saying that Luke I should not be the only culprit. That just is left behind. Mm. Thank you. Thank you very much. No, from, from the very, very beginning, Jubrin has indicated that he's culpable. But he's saying that, look, I was the chairman. So you should be able to ask me what's going on. And I'm saying this is going on. Yeah. So he's added himself there. It's a matter of how many people he can then say were also uh, culpable. And this is where Dogara past company with him and says, I don't know what you're talking about. Many, many, many people. But, you know, we were hearing this whole matter about um, uh, Dogara checking out how many people were with him just in case he came to impeachment to see if the numbers were there. Yeah. And I think <clears throat> over the weekend we were, listening, we were, we were hearing that um, the man is short of something like 26, 27, 28, I can't remember which number, yeah. one of those three, that he was short by that number yep. uh, of, from being able to sleep with both eyes closed. <laughs> Uh, Femi Bajabia Miller, for instance, he has studiously tried to stay out of this. Yeah. But he was dragged in. It's even, it's even called, I mean, he called for a truce. He, he said, did. He said uh, the, the, the matter should be handled with a majority. And also, uh, recall that uh, Gibrin actually exonerated um, uh, Bajabia Miller from the whole uh, pardon issue. From? He said, um, uh, uh, that um, Badabia Miller was not uh, taken into consideration in the whole pardon uh, process. That's a uh, gibbering. But then gibbering must be very careful. Because now that we are getting body languages from the presidency mm. and with the kind of um, uh, voice with which uh, Dugara is speaking, it exudes uh, uh, confidence that I am here, I'm the speaker, I'm not threatened. There's nothing like pardon, even there's pardon, it is not a crime. So, after meeting with the president, 
it gives a um, credence to the fact that and Jibrin has not been able to meet with the president yet and yes he said yeah he, he said he's been blocked yes. from meeting with the president which was denied of course by the person. now the the anti-graft agencies have been called in to come and investigate and they call that uh, the people that i mean the the um magu has is a letter of a confirmation in front of uh, the national assembly now so i mean <laughs> The people who <laughs> <laughs> so so all these things are inter they're, they're, they're interwoven. Interwoven. Uh, but Mr. Gustin, calling in from Isheri. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank you for calling. Yeah. Um, first and foremost, we Nigerians ought to watch our all chances. Now, where are all the civil rights activists? Where are all the people that are fighting for justice in Nigeria? This is the right time for every Nigerian to protest and go to the street and say no to this. All these constituency projects, let tell me one of them. Let them come and show us one office they are operating in their constituency. Look at the staff strength. We don't have such in, in all these constituencies that they are claiming. For me, I just see this as rubbish. All I'm looking for is to see the human activists, you do marking and so on and so forth. Let, let them bring all Nigerians. Let us hold these people to account for what is going on in our country. Thank you very much. Uh, well, thank you uh, for calling in. Uh, what we're getting from the, you know, admittedly few people that are calling, that have been able to call on our program, is that somehow they, they, they're not on the same page with, with this, with this uh, uh, direction shall we say, that the, yeah. the, 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 this particular direction, the wind of this whole probe has taken, because the wind would appear, that's my read, would appear to be taken out of uh, uh, the Jubrin sale by the presidency uh, commenting on this matter. Yeah. Even though the presidency's uh, spokesperson tried his best to try and ameliorate, but there's no way you can ameliorate the fact that Sorry, you are the presidency. When you speak, we imagine that that is the mindset of the presidents, uh, the, the, the presidential uh, team in place. And so now saying this, you've, there are those who could think that Jibrin has been thrown under, under the bus. Yeah, uh, like I said, I mean, it's on a roller coaster. And it needs to actually watch it because um, um, with the kind of confidence uh, that Dogara has now, or his newfound confidence, I mean, uh, Jibrin must be very careful. He must be very careful. Okay, yeah. uh, Mr. Jonathan calling in from Joss, Plateau State. I think, was that Mr. Jonathan that we lost? I think so. See if you can get in again, Mr. Jonathan. You, I... So, so is, um, but then I think Nigeria, for us in Nigeria, like uh, one of the callers actually said. But a lot of people seem to be backing uh, Jibrin. uh, Jibrin's uh, quest for an inquiry. Yes, fine. Of course, I think the inquiry has started. But then, like I said, it's, it's a clash of interests. Jibrin is not just uh, making noise for nothing. And also, Dogara won't uh, sit down and allow himself uh, to be uh, removed uh, easily. Uh, last week, I saw some, some of the rep, rep members wearing, uh, adorning uh, T-shirts um, uh, with uh, very big banners and with Dogara even on, on, on national TV stations. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> I mean, T-shirts, like, as, in, as, if, as if they are still uh, campaigning for election. Well, we but saw that in the Saraki uh, issue as well. Issue too. So, mm. it calls to question whether, uh, where the interest of uh, this, our honorable men actually lie. Whether they are serving their own purpose or serving Nigerians. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Bello, Agege, good morning. Sayori. Yeah, thank you, thank you for calling in. Clear on, the, on this uh, budget issue, why the president said that the budget was not actually pardoned. The issue is this. The house said that 100, 100 billion was actually appropriate for the conservative project, which 50, 50 billion was declared on the floor of the house, agree with the mem all, the, all the members. But in going from the presidency now, from the house to the presidency, the leaders inserted another 40 billion to make up for the differences. That's why this should, this should, be, should be very, very careful. Uh, Mr. Bello, uh, uh, Mr. Bello, in, I'm, I'm interested. Not, not, uh, uh, yeah. Mr. Bello, yes, sir. Um, wh what's your evidence for, because you, you quoted those figures, you seem the to member, be indicating the that was there was an agreement. There was yes. an, you seem to be indicating that there was an agreement. So what's your authority for that statement? That, that look, was, you guys, take 100 billion. 
Hey, if I was a member that came on the AIT program one day, okay. that mentioned that 60 billion was given to the other members to share. Okay. Okay. Why 100 billion was actually budgeted for? So the difference, the point that comes in between, why the government comes in? The leaders get more than the others. The leaders of the house got more than the other members. Mm -hmm. That's the presidency. I'm, I'm just coming from now. We had the most reason why the president was saying that the budgets were not padded. Okay. Okay. So, come, it, it, at the end of the day, it's going to be the me, some, uh, member, whatever, the house issue, as they used to say. You bring yourself to be very, very careful. Because okay. that's why for the other guy is Amanion. It was the money budgeted for the house that was shared. Not that he is now added another figure to what they sent with the presidency. They are working within their own 100 billion era budgeted for the presidency project. Okay. Which was agreed by the executive. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Thank you, Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Bello. This uh, hundred billion naira that, yes. that comes up, that figure comes up. Never one twenty, never one fifty, never eighty. It's one hundred billion naira. Yes, it I keeps mean, on coming up for yeah for constituency projects. Yes, um, sixty billion for the House of uh, Representatives and forty billion for the Senate. Mm. Now, um, the um, Gibrin is saying that out of the sixty billion that came to the House of Representatives that the member, 10 principal officers appropriated 17.1 billion to themselves. I mean, I actually, I mean, he gave a, 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 breakdown. a, a breakdown that the speaker, I mean, the speaker uh, allocated 3 billion uh, to himself. Uh, the deputy speaker- uh, That is for, uh, for his constituency for projects. Constituency projects, quote and unquote, mm -hmm. constituency projects. Um, the, the deputy speaker, I think 2.5 and in that order. And even the minority leader, Lee Ogo, admitted on the national TV program that he was allocated 1.8 billion for his constituency project. So, if um, they are admitting that on air, openly, and it, you know, their quarrel is is supposed to be something within the the, the, the chamber, a family affair, a family affair, not, not supposed not to go out for these people to be discussing on now, television and radio. That they are they are going to punish um, uh, uh, Gibrin for. Bringing, blow, for bringing, bringing the family, the family drawers, drawers out into, 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 the the market, into, into the marketplace and hanging them on the line <laughs> on, on instead the of line. using the dryer we normally use because where nobody will know what you're drying that is it because <laughs> what we actually said was that nigerians are so pained now that they will think those constituency projects are actually meant for them in the individuals individuals i mean that's that's what he said i mean but, because i listened to him but even this bit that you have said Majid. It's still, there are those who still will call it corruption. Because there is no evidence that <laughs> the, 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 the constituency projects are executed. Well, they haven't said they should stop it's investigating. Literal, there is little or no evidence. Even though time says that we have to stop the program around now, but at least nobody has said so far that um, in, in those words, stop all your investigations and stop wasting time. Nobody has said that. EFCC was still busy quizzing uh, the man uh, Jubin yesterday for four or five hours and uh, alleged, well, reportedly they'll be bringing in uh, you already nobody, well. nobody has said investigation should stop nobody. but the presidency is saying there is no pardon. So what do you want to investigate? So what do you want to find? <laughs> Are you now find different from what the presidency Especially has said? Especially when uh, the confirmation of uh, the chief investigator is lying on the, uh, on the uh, table oh. of the National Assembly okay. waiting for the assent. We'll keep an eye on that story, Majid. You know, thank you very much for sharing your perspective on this. We'll keep an eye on the story, see if it has any more turns or any more twists. Uh, but we'll leave it here for now. I'll be back tomorrow, God willing, with a fresh edition of the program. I'm Yori Folani. Bye-bye for now.